Okay, so now we have the facial features on, uh, except for the ears. Um, and ears are something you need if you're gonna have short hair on your person. So we're gonna do the ears um, and the hair together after we put our person, our egghead, on his or her neck. Um, one thing that you may notice is as you were building, um, you might have some dents or maybe you kind of lost your chin. Um, so if you need to add a little bit of extra clay here or there, just make sure it's really wet and then you can just smooth it in on all sides and fill in any sort of dents that you may have. Got a little more water. Um, you can also do the same thing to make a chin. Uh, you can add a little bit of extra clay. So I'm going to take some of my extra clay and just make sort of a sort of an oval out of the clay not a worm, not a ball, an oval. And then I'm going to put that oval right under this person's mouth. It's not looking like a chin yet. I have to blend it in so it looks like a chin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Moving my clay so I can get the best angle for my fingers. And blending it here so I cannot see any seam. Again, if you're blending your clay in like this, you don't really need to do the scratching and slipping and sticking. It's just important uh, when we put our eggs together and when we put our neck on our eggs. So now our person has more of a chin. Looks more uh, normal, I think. All right, and now we're gonna add our necks to our egg heads so that they can stand up and we can work on their hair. To do the neck, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to get some clay. You may have extra or you may need some from the middle table. And you're going to start to make sort of a flat, sorry, short uh, cylinder. So I'm tapping the top, tapping the bottom on the table, and I'm rolling it. I don't want it to be too skinny because I want it to support my person. I'd rather have it shorter and fatter than skinny and tall. Because remember, your necks are really uh, as wide as uh, the outside corners of your eyes, right in here, just like this, or the, or the eyebrows. Uh, so we want a neck that's pretty wide. I'm gonna hit it some more. What I don't want, though, is I don't want wrinkles in my neck. Uh, if you are making an older person, you could actually leave wrinkles in your neck. Uh, you might end up with some accidentally anyway, and that's okay, but you might as well start with a smooth cylinder. So here you go. Then, uh, what we're gonna do is we have to attach this cylinder to this head. And the way we're gonna do that is not straight up and down. Because uh, heads, when we're looking at heads, they sort of rest uh, a little bit at an angle. So the bulk of your head back here is actually uh, behind your neck. So when we attach our head to our neck, we want to put it not straight up and down, but a little bit further back like that. And that'll help too when we get the hair on our neck or on our head and we have more weight back here, um, it'll help to balance out our head. Okay? So I have my neck about where I want it. I'm going to take a tool here and I'm going to just draw a line around here so I know where to make scratch marks because for this we do want to scratch our clay. So I have a circle there that I can make scratch marks. I'm going to get my fork. Make some nice scratch marks. Lay my person down, not on their face, that would be bad. And I'm going to make some scratch marks here. Gonna get some water and add some water to both surfaces like this. And then I'm going to attach them together. And again, I'm pressing as hard as I can without damaging my head here, my egg head. And I'm gonna just set my person up and really make that secure. Then the next thing I wanna do is I wanna smooth out this joining area. And it's the same way we did it when we were smoothing our egg heads. You're gonna take a finger and you're gonna really work to get rid of that uh, seam. And remember, you're thinking about moving that top layer of clay. You're actually mixing these two clays together, the clay from the neck and the clay from the head. 
So I'm mixing and moving this neck clay into the head. And just like this. There, and my head's pretty stable. Uh, if your head isn't stable, you can move it around on its neck until it feels stable to you. Your neck will adjust and change on the bottom um, and get a little bit wider as the weight of the head sits on it. So um, that's a good way to help keep your head stable. Okay.